Hey, what's going on good people? Gardener Douglas, your Oyster Ninja. And uh, today we're going to talk about some bad oysters or things you want to look for and uh, kind of stay away. Um, so basically a bad oyster, a lot of people ask, well, how do I know if an oyster is bad? Um, so first off, if it smells funny, throw it away. Um, don't even take any chances with it. Uh, if it's all dried up, throw it away. Don't take any chances with it. Uh, next up is if you open it up and it's just like mud or one is going to be caked with mud and it might be where the oyster died and it's just mud inside or dirt inside. And then next, if the oyster is still inside and it also has uh, dirt in it. So we're going to look at some of those today. So this is an oyster I just shucked and as you can see I never, didn't even take the top shell off but already I can kind of see that you can see it, it's mud and dirt inside. So I'm not even going to fool with it. Um, I'm just going to throw it away. You look mud all up under the gills. Um, you can see, yeah, it's just, I don't even waste time on something like that. It's just trash. Just trash. I'm not even going to waste time. So this is another one I'm not even going to waste time on. Uh, as you can see, I opened it up and it was just kind of shriveled up and translucent and nothing really there. Another oyster. Not even going to waste time on it. Just throw it away. So here's an example of what you might think is a bad oyster, but it's actually a good oyster. And it just has a little pea crab in it. I've done tons of videos. It actually has a little mud too, but we can just wipe that mud away with our finger. I'll finish getting that. But the pea crab can stay. You can stay, guy. And when they're alive, it's even better. 